Okay, I totally botched that problem, but uh, anyways, I have it nice and streamlined now. Uh, but here we go. So the, the Corvette problem, uh, the car depreciates at 11% each year. So I've, I already have the functions filled in. So V of T is the value of the Corvette. Notice it's 71,945. Uh, you've got one minus 0 0.11, which ends up being 0 0.89. And then you have your T. Now what we're doing, just to show you, is we are just doing that general uh, decay function. You got your initial value. We're subtracting the rate uh, per time. Now V is the funky part here. Um, so you find a great deal for financing. The payment is 500 per month with 0% interest. So you pay 500 month, uh, per month towards your car. Okay. Uh, so write a function to model the loan balance each year. So the loan balance is the tricky part, right? So you, you paid or you're paying that 71945 But each month, or sorry, this is really each year, right? Because T is per year. You're taking away 6000 of that. Okay, so it says 500 per month, so 500 times 12, that's where I actually get this 6,000 value. Okay, so per year, you're subtracting $6,000 uh, on the balance, um, which is the amount you have left to pay. Okay, uh, and then so C, find the value of the car and the amount you owe in 2022 and 2025. So uh, I have these tables all nice and neat and ready to go for you. This first one is uh, Y1 is my first equation. Y2 is my second equation. If we're looking at the table here, okay, um, that value that you owe in 2022, that's two years after the 2020, okay, the value that you owe, um, sorry, I find the value of the car. Found the value of the car is the first part. So the value of the car will be 56,988. Again, plugging it into the table. Uh, and then 2025, uh, that would be five years later, so 40175 So I'll go ahead and say value uh, in 2022. It was uh, 56988 In 2025, it was 40175 Okay, and the amount you owe, and this is going to be real quick, y'all. Uh, 2022, the amount you owe, again, that's, you know, 60945 So you got a long way to go after two years. Um, you haven't paid much. Okay, but 60945 And then 2025, you've got, after five years, 40, I can't say it, 42945 Okay, um, and then D. In what year will the value of the car be worth more than the balance of the loan? So you've got to think, right? When's the best time to sell my car? Well, if you if the value of the car is worth more than you owe, right? I mean, you got to consider selling the car, right? Because um, you're just smart with money, right? If it's depre if the value of the car is depreciating, you're not going to get you know a return on your investment. So. Um, in order to do that, right, again, we're just comparing these. Um, so we've got this in here, right, where you've got uh, for the value of the car is worth 40000 the amount you still have left, 42, uh, and then just scrolling down here, right, in year seven, right, the value of the car is 31822 but then you have that much left to pay still. So if you're going to end up paying this, right, like, might as well sell it here. Okay, so that's what this problem is getting at uh, with D. It would be year seven, so that is 2027. The value of the car will be worth more than the balance that you have left uh, on the loan. Okay, um, so that's that problem, just a quick explanation of that. Cool. A lot of uh, the problems you'll be doing aren't quite like this, but it is an interesting one to look at. You guys have